Proper labeling throughout your code helps assistive technology such as screen readers tell a user what an element on your site does. We're going to be taking a look at how the Firefox Accessibility Inspector can help us identify and fix labeling accessibility issues. For starters, let's make sure our images always have the alt attribute attached to it. And then we also wanna make sure that our inputs have a label associated with them. And lastly, if you have a logo on your site, which odds are you do, it's most likely a link to return the user back to the homepage, right? We wanna make sure that if that anchor tag doesn't have any text in between it, that it has an ARIA label attribute, just to make sure that it has an accessible name. Proper labeling should always include appropriate usage of HTML tags and or attributes. However, if you have no other choice, yes, please use the ARIA label or ARIA labeled by attributes. But keep in mind, we do recommend that you explore all other options related to HTML tags and or their attributes before jumping straight to the ARIA attributes. Here we're on the foundation.mozilla.org blog page. And what we want to do to access our Firefox Accessibility Inspector is that we want to right click the page, inspect element, and then we see there are dev tools open up. But we wanna go up to our right top hand corner to these right two arrows, click on it and go to accessibility. And then we want to turn on accessibility features. This is off by default because we don't want to slow down the performance of your browser, but feel free to update your settings if you would like to always make sure that this is open and available to you. Otherwise, definitely when you're done with this demo or when you're done using the accessibility inspector, feel free to turn this off to keep your browser performing as high as possible. So first here you'll see the top panel. It has the role and the names of the elements. And then under name, you'll see this is the actual accessible name for the element and this is its associated role. And then in the second panel, you'll see it's a checks panel. This is where the accessibility inspector will offer helpful hints, suggestions, and also links to find out more information surrounding any problems or flags that it raises. And then in our last panel is our properties panel. This will show helpful information such as name, role, and different values and actions that your elements might have. So we're going to go up to this second bar, check for issues, and we want to make sure that text labels is checked. In our first panel, we see that we have a few issues raised. And then if we go down to our second panel, the checks panel, we see that we do have a text labels and names flag raised. Let's take a look at our properties panel and actually check out this element in the inspector. So since we're in the inspector, we want to check to see if there's any sort of text inside uh, that we may be missing or that the accessibility inspector hasn't picked up. So no, we can see that this is just a button and it's a div styled with burger bars. So in that case, let's go back up here to our accessibility panel. And we're going to actually check out this suggestion here that the accessibility inspector has offered us and see what suggestions it offers. So after clicking the learn more link, we landed on the developer.mozilla.org page and we're going to read this section that says interactive elements must be labeled. And we do see that for links, buttons, and clickable elements, the text content of the element typically provides the label. Now, we know that our element doesn't actually have any text between its tags. So since that's not really an option for us, we're going to use the aria label attribute here. We're going to go to the element, Go down to attributes, add attributes, and type in aria label menu, and then click out of the element. And then we're going to go back on our page and right click the element, go down to inspect accessibility properties, go up to check for issues, and check text labels. So good news. We see that this is no longer a flagged race for us, so it seems like we fixed the problem properly. Now, we're not gonna go through every single issue on the page, but I did wanna make sure that we highlight the logo issue that I mentioned earlier on in the video. And 
I think that these two probably belong to the logo. So we're going to actually check those out first. And we can see that if we go to the bottom of the page, the logo is two of our issues uh, accessibility wise on this page. So we see that they're both missing a text label, but let's check our checks panel and see specifically what errors we're receiving. Uh, in terms of its link role, we can see that the interactive elements must be labeled. And if we click learn more, we're taken to developer.mozilla.org. So we see that for links, buttons, and clickable elements, the text content of the element typically provides the label. If no other option exists for labeling an element, then use the ARIA label attribute. So if we go back, let's check the code actually for this element on the page. And we see that it is an anchor tag wrapping an image tag. So it doesn't appear to have any text inside of it, but just to double check what we're looking at, let's go to the graphic role, and this is corresponding to the image element. So in our checks panel, we see that content with images must be labeled. Now, I kind of have a feeling that this is related to the image not having an alt attribute, but let's click our learn more link to find out. So yes, images should have the alt attribute. So we're gonna go to our code, and just to simply fix this issue, we know that the image is missing an alt attribute, so we're going to edit as HTML after right-clicking the element, and then add alt. And we're gonna just title this image Mozilla. And then we're gonna click out of it. And we saw previously to fix the anchor tag issue, all it needed was an ARIA label attribute. The reason we're gonna actually choose the ARIA label attribute is because we don't have any text in the middle of our anchor tag and most likely won't be adding any. So still we wanna make sure that this is an accessible logo and we're going to right click the anchor tag, go down to attributes, add attribute, and type in ARIA label and we're going to title this return to home page. Why not? Because technically that's what our link is doing. And I'll show you why in a second when we look in our accessible tree. So if we go back to the accessibility panel, we see that this logo is no longer raising any flags for us. But let's check our accessibility tree. So let's just right click the element, inspect accessibility properties. And we see down here, we finally have an accessible name for these elements. The link itself is describing to the user to return to the home page, And then the graphic itself, it's taking the name from the alt attribute that we just added, Mozilla. We've covered how to ensure that the code you write is properly labeled, but what about the code that you didn't write that's just simply injected into your code base via JavaScript or some open source tool that you're using? How do we make sure that that code is accessible and properly labeled? Well, to be quite frank, you can't control other tools that you're using, and we do acknowledge that you're going to be using inaccessible tools. But what you can do is either do more research to find better, more accessible tools to integrate into your code base, or contribute to those open source tools and help make their code more accessible. For more information on the flags that the label issue checker raised, visit this page on developer.mozilla.org. And if you're interested in the accessibility inspector in general, please visit this page. Hopefully this was helpful. Let us know in the comments below how you plan to use better accessibility labeling.